Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Thank you so much for tuning in, for subscribing. And I know some of you uh, have told me you've been sharing these messages and God bless you. Thank you for doing that. We are growing and I'm so pleased. And I want you to know, I feel your prayers. Um, I feel like this is just such a family. I say good morning to Ireland every day and England and we have Poland writing Canada, Netherlands, India. God bless you in India. I know there's much persecution uh, happening in India. God bless you. In fact, talk about persecution. Please pray. There's a family in North Korea that uh, had a child. I don't know whether it's one child or more, but had a child and they were caught with a Bible and they were sent to prison uh, for life, even the child. So there's so much going on, so much happening so quickly, church. Um, we need to just pray. Uh, and I know you do. I know you do. And um, and I just have such a burden for the pure persecuted church. And we can see it happening in the West. Amen. We can see, you know, things deteriorating. Uh, will we be able to buy Bibles? Will we be able to say Jesus on this venue? I mean, we might see those days, folks. Amen. But anyway, that's not what the word is about today. Amen. Um, I have a word today and I've titled it linger again with me. And, you know, as I was getting this word, um, I was praying and thinking, you know, we may walk out the door in the busyness and the hardness of these days and forget to speak to the Lord. We may do that one day, two days, but you know, it will have a profound effect in our lives in not just in our walk, but in what happens to us. Amen. When we're not prayed up. Amen. And these days, these last days, God told us they were going to be difficult. We have got to be on our knees morning, talk to him during the day, in the busyness of the day, lean on him, uh, go to a quiet place, maybe at work sometimes, and just, you know, speak to the Lord. Amen. And then in the evenings in our homes uh, to pray the blood covering upon our homes. Amen. So, Linger again with God. This is not for everybody, but this is for some. And you'll write and tell me bullseye, Jackie, because you know how God does. Sometimes he gives us those absolutely words that send us up to heaven that we need to be encouraged. And then sometimes he corrects us. Amen. And so we have to, we will know by the spirit of God, which ones, you know, hit us and are for us. Amen. So let me read to you about uh, Jesus in the garden of Gethsemane. And this talks about prayer time. Amen. And how, you know, the last week of his life was so difficult and he explained everything to the, uh, to the disciples, to the believers, but how could they get it? You know, they just couldn't get it in their humanness. And that's the way we are. Sometimes when he's speaking to us, we can't get it until after the fact. And then we realize, oh, my gosh, that's what God was saying to me. And that then will bear witness and we will understand much of what we've had to walk through. Amen. So I digress again. But uh, let me read here. I'm going to read uh, the Garden of Gethsemane. You know this, these scriptures well. And 26 is the chapter. And I'm going to read, I think, 36 through 40, 41. And Jesus came to them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And, you know, this is when he sweat blood. He just begged the father not to, you know, uh, does he have to go through the crucifixion? Amen. Uh, probably the most intense part, you know, other than the crucifixion itself. Amen. And that's when we need people when we're going through these crucial places and how often we all fall short. Amen. In verse 37, and he took with uh, and he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and distressed. And then he said to them, my soul is deeply grieved. Oh, bless you, Jesus. To the point of death, remain here and keep watch over me. He's making me cry. 
And he went a little beyond them and fell on his face and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this uh, cup pass through me, yet not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, So you men could not keep watch with me for just one hour. Keep watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit uh, is willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. And every day we all fall short, you know, and, and I'm thinking here when Jesus needed that, that backup in prayer, how often we fall short. Amen. And I want you to know, we pray for you people on this channel. We have our prayer cards and it doesn't matter if you wrote me a month ago and you need prayer again if we have your name on here a couple times for other needs for unspoken requests many of you say just jackie please pray for me and i put your name down again amen my prayer partners are praying i send my full list over to one she has it in her bible and she's praying frequently i have it here on my desk then i put it on my nightstand at night so i'm praying a number of times and our prayer partner in tech Texas is fasting and praying a couple of days and going through all the comments. So we believe in prayer. We, we believe in the power of prayer. We've seen salvations. We've seen healing on this program. Amen. And this isn't bringing glory to us in any way, but it's bringing glory to our God Almighty. Amen. And your prayers, God is seeing you folks pray, these comments touch your heart and you begin to pray for these people. So I want to encourage everybody today, because perhaps this will be a harder message for some, but be encouraged because you know what we all sin, we all fall short of the glory. We all need prayer. We all praying one for another. Amen. So uh, let me read the word today here. Linger again with me. My child, I am with you. I never leave your side. Thank you, Lord. I hear your thoughts and I am ever present. My child, how often you hurry off without a word or thought of me. My child, when my days on this earth came about, I was in the garden. My child, do you not realize the days are fast approaching? Oh, yes, he is coming soon, church. Amen. Those around me fell asleep then. Oh, my child, you must be about my business. I have chosen you for such a day like this. I'm going to read that one more time. Everybody's been chosen to live in these last days. I believe we will all see the rapture. I don't know the day or the time. We're not supposed to, you know, decipher the day or a time in our humanness. No man knows the day or time. Those around me fell asleep then. Oh, my child, you must be about my business. I have chosen you for such a day like this. Many are in need, even just a helping hand or a word of love. Amen. Yet, my lamb, you leave out without a word. You are self-focused, only looking after your own needs. Oh, my child, it is time to get, again to approach my altar on bended knees. I have given you many gifts and much wisdom. When your eyes are open, you see much, my child. You know my voice this day and my call to you. How can I fill you with wisdom and discernment when you leave my side, when you don't linger with me, when the pages of my book is closed? I am here waiting. I miss you, little child. It's his love for you. That's his love for you. He's catching you now before you wander away. And it has a significant uh, <clears throat> impact on your life. He's catching you now. He's bringing you back. That's who we serve. That's who loves us. That's a father that catches his child before he makes a mistake. You're chosen. You are filled with his spirit. You are a vessel chosen to be in this day for others. Amen. So I am here waiting. I miss you, my child. With all that is ahead, you must cling to me. You must know my voice and direction for the day of ahead. I have much for you to do. Many are looking uh, to you for answers and solutions. You will have a new and fresh direction. Seek me, little one. Linger, my child. Seek me. Do not run the other way. 
I give you much wisdom to those who linger with me. Open my pages, yet you run off my child. Seek me early, seek me late. Hear me, my child, time is short. There is much to do. Open your heart to me. Linger again with me. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Lord. And if you've been corrected today, praise God. Your father loves you. He's catching you by the shirt collar before you get too far because it will impact your life. When we get into the habit of leaving out the door and leaving God behind, amen, it will have an impact on the direction that our day goes, amen. And boy, the devil's aware of that, isn't he? Amen. So let me read it one more time and I'm going to pray for you. My child, I am with you. I never leave your side. I hear your thoughts. I am ever present. My child, how often you hurry off without a word or thought of me. My child, when my days on earth uh, came about, I was in the garden. My child, do you not realize the days are fast approaching? Those around me fell asleep then. Oh, my child, you must be about my business. I have chosen you for such a day like this. Many are in need, even just a helping hand or a word of love. Yet, my lamb, you leave out without a word. You are self-focused, only looking after your own needs. Oh, my child, it's time again to approach my altar upon bended knees. I have given you many gifts and much wisdom. When your eyes are open, you see much, my child. You know my voice this day, my call to you. How can I fill you with wisdom and discernment when you leave my side, when you don't linger with me? May the page, when the, pardon me, when the pages of my book are closed, I am here waiting. I miss you, my child. With all that is ahead, you must cling to me. You must know my voice and direction for the days of he ahead. I have much for you to do. Many are looking to you for answers and solutions. You will have a new and fresh direction. Seek me, little one. Linger, my child. Seek me. Do not run the other way. I give you much wisdom to those that linger with me and open my pages. Yet you run off, my child. Seek me early. Seek me late. Uh, hear me, my child. Time is short. There is so much to do. Open your heart to me, my child, and linger again with me. Amen. 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 Lord Almighty God, I lift up your people today. Each and every one of us, Lord, can learn from this message, Lord. Let us not escape uh, the lingering with you for one day, Lord God. Let us just cling to you as we wake in the morning. Lean on you and pray your perfect will as we lean on you in the morning, Lord God. And as we pray at the end of the day, Lord God, that your will is be, had been done in our day, Lord God, that you were with us, that you accompanied us, Lord God, that you walked beside us, Lord God, and Lord God, that you opened our eyes to what was going on and perhaps the opportunity where we offered our hand to one who was in need, Lord God, till we touch somebody with your love for one we pass by, Almighty God. Lord, keep us close, Lord God. Let us not fall asleep, Lord God as those did in the garden, Lord God. Let us be wise uh, to the times of the day, Lord God. And what is ahead, Lord God, by seeking you morning, noon, and night, Lord God. Be with your people today, Lord God. Speak to those that must hear today, Lord God, that they would be down on bended knees and linger with you for a while. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we might linger with you, that we might cling to you, that we might hear your voice in our life this day according to your will, Lord God. Be with our families. Be with our children. Save our loved ones, Lord God. And minister your peace and your love and, yes, your correction to each and every one of us that always need to hear that, Lord God, that we might be corrected and be more like you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, God bless you. God keep you. 
Uh, let his light shine upon you this day. God bless. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much for your super uh, thanks, your super uh, chats, your donations. Each dollar is a blessing in my life, and I appreciate you so much. God bless you. God be with you, and his peace be upon you. Amen. God bless. <laughs>